today 14th sunday in the ordinary time how do you share your faith in jesus how do you respond to those people who reject your faith are you able to carry on with your faith without giving it up in the face of struggles and problems in today's gospel we see how jesus commissioned 70 of his disciples to go on mission he gave them a vision of a vast field that is ready to be harvested for the kingdom of god jesus frequently used the image of harvest to convey the coming of god's reign on earth the harvest is the result of much labor and growth beginning with the sowing of seeds then growth to maturity and finally the reaping of fruit for the harvest the word of god is sown in the hearts of receptive men and women who hear his word accept it with the trust and obedience and then share the abundant fruit of god's word in their life with others the harvest jesus had in his mind was not only the gathering in of the people of israel but all the nations of the world john the evangelist tells us that god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life what does jesus mean when he says his disciples must be lambs in the midst of wolves the prophet isaiah foretold a time when wolves and lambs will dwell in peace book of prophet isaiah chapter 11 6 and 65 25 this certainly refers to the second coming of the lord jesus when all will be united under the lordship of jesus after he has put down all of his enemies and established a full reign of god over all the heavens and the earth in the meantime the disciples must expect opposition and persecution from those who would oppose the gospel jesus came to set us free from the power of sin satan and death by laying down his life for us as our sacrificial lamb john 129 to atone for our sins and the sins of the world we in turn must be willing to offer our lives with gratitude and humble service to our savior the lord jesus christ the instructions of jesus to his disciples are they must go and serve others without deceit with the full of charity peace and simplicity they must give their full attention to the proclamation of god's kingdom and not be diverted by other lesser things they must travel light only take what was essential and leave behind what would distract them in order to concentrate on the task of speaking the word of god they must do their work not for what they can get out of it but for what they can give freely to others without expecting reward or payment power your spirit frees us from the greed and preoccupation with the possessions and makes ample room for god's provision the lord jesus wants his disciples to be dependent on him and not on themselves jesus ends his instructions with a warning if people reject god's invitation and refuse his word then they bring condemnation on themselves when god gives us his word there comes with it the great responsibility to respond indifference will not do we are either for or against god in how we respond to his word god gives us his life giving word and we may have abundant life and joy in him he wills to work in and through each one of us for his own glory god shares his all powerful word with us and he commissions us to speak it boldly and plainly to others Do you witness the truth and joy of gospel by word and example to those around you? May the power of God's word dwell in you with all its richness. And I pray that you may have a blessed Sunday. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.